Hey there, I wanna to talk to you today about one of my favorite crops, and I think a very underrated crop, green onion. So the green onion, spring onion, bunching onion, whatever you wanna call them, have been really one of my favorite crops this summer just because it's been probably one of the easiest ones to grow. It made it through that really strong heat wave we had no problem. It's had pretty much no insect pressure. I've pretty much done nothing since I've transplanted them. Harvesting them is super easy. I think it's one of those crops that people all know about and some farmers are talking about, but you know, a lot of people are focusing on quick growing crops like salad green, myself included. Um, but this has been a surprisingly great crop and this is the first time I've grown it. And I just wanna talk a little bit about it and you know, why you should be growing it. So before I want to get into the nuts and bolts of how I grow it, uh, I want to talk to you guys first about, think about, is this the right crop for you to grow? Um, you know, can you sell it? That's really the, always the biggest question. I've been selling it to the chefs, they've been enjoying it. It's easy to add into my family boxes. If you're selling it as a farmer's market, it'd be a great thing to, to bring as long as not everybody has it. Um, if everyone's doing them in the spring, maybe grow them in other times of the year. They're really heat tolerant. They're also very cold tolerant. They're a little bit slow growing. Um, and so, you know, that's something to consider too. But uh, the bigger thing is, you know, can you sell it? That's always the first thing you should ask yourself. So you can see it growing in this bed over here. And I don't have an exact yield for you yet on this 50 foot bed, but I probably pulled about 10 pounds out of here and I can barely tell. I mean, there's some spots that's a little bit thinner, but huge yields for sure. And obviously the longer you let it grow, the bigger the, the, the onions will get. And uh, these guys are planted um, three rows with four inch in between and uh, they're just transplanted out. And timing wise, they're, I started them from seed and they were about, I don't know, five or six weeks in the trays. And then I think I looked it up about six weeks out in the field. So, you know, they do take a while, but uh, since I've put them in, I haven't done anything. And um, the harvesting is pretty, pretty easy. You just pull them out and, and spray them off. And you can see how thick this gets. I mean, these just look awesome. And uh, yeah, super happy. But let me show you what they look like in the trays. I have another succession coming up. So let's talk about how to start these onions and how to transplant them and all that stuff. So I have 30 inch by 50 foot beds, this is what you guys probably already know. So I'm gonna be planting them four inches in row, so that's three per foot. There's three rows at 50 feet, turns out to be 450 transplants, which sounds like a lot, but I do 400 transplants for lettuce in each of my beds, so it's not that much more. So what I did is I started them in 128 cell flats and I put you know, three to five uh, seeds in each cell. And I started these inside and after a few weeks, I brought them out to the greenhouse here and let them grow and harden off. And, you know, just waiting for them to get big enough before I transplant them out. And they're looking great. You can see they're, um, you know, looking really healthy, strong. And the way that I usually tell if they're ready is I'll just, uh, I'll just pull up one of the cells. All right, so here's one plug. You can see that the roots have taken over and it's, and it's solid. And when it's not ready, I find that when you pull on it, it either they pull out of the, of the soil or it just kind of falls apart. And so these guys are pretty much ready to go out. So I'll get those out fairly soon. But yeah, pretty straightforward. I used four 128 cells. Uh, and I just filled them all up and that's for one bed and that's just what I did uh, for this and it seems to be working pretty well so it'll be give you a little bit more at, uh, four times 128 is what 512 so you got a couple extra but they all germinated really easily and I didn't lose that many cells and even in transplanting but I don't think there's a, there's a lot of harm in letting them go a little bit longer uh, before you put them out as long as um, you know they're looking good but yeah make sure that the, the roots are nice and strong when you pull them out of the out of the flats and so you can transplant them up. So as I mentioned, I have only grown these, uh, these, two, these two successions here, but so far super successful. I'm probably gonna keep a bed going all the time and just plant successions probably every four to six weeks. So I have pretty much a constant supply. The nice thing is you can thin harvest them. If you don't know what that is, you just, you could do it with like radishes and beets and turnips and stuff like that, but you just, or carrots, you know, you can, you go through and you just, you pick out the bigger ones and then the next week you go back and the smaller ones are now bigger ones. So. You know, I'll probably be able to harvest out of that for three or four weeks if I don't need it all at once. And so that's just another nice thing to be able to do with, with crops, especially if you have like a, a larger bed of it, uh, you can just go through and harvest them as you need them, which is great. Um, also great if you're doing this in your garden at home because 
you know, if you probably don't need a ton of green onions, but you know, you could have a stretch where you're like, I'm gonna put green onions on everything, and you can just go out there and just pull out the bigger ones and, and have that patch going for a little while. In terms of varieties, as I said, I don't have much experience with different varieties, uh, just because I just started growing these, but I've been, my first try here has been with the Nabashan, I don't know how to pronounce that, from Johnny's. Again, no affiliation with Johnny's, but uh, they just seem, the, the description seemed good. Maybe you guys got some other varieties you can share that you've had a good experience with, but overall, super happy. Kind of a quick video today, but I just want to share some of the things that have been pretty easy to grow and successful, even in the heat, in the summertime, in the south. So, try growing some green onions. If you haven't before, give it a shot, and um, it's not too late to plant them right now, and they'll probably do great into the fall and into the winter. So, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.